don't normally like just initially mix him with dogs because I know he's got a prey drive. And if a dog has come here that has a prey drive, I don't want to match him up with the same energy that they have right away. And so, but in this case, I want to do this because this is the second introduction with this dog, uh, with meeting a few dogs, and I'm getting ready to take the muzzle off because I think the dog knows exactly what I want and what I don't want because we've already had a little incident. Take a look at, at um, Max. And um, you see, they're always focused on the energy. Uh, that's just his prey drive. That's what he is. See how he does it? This is the kind of dog you have to control mentally. It's not, it's not about physically controlling this dog. Yeah. And so when we allow the introduction to take place like that, then the energy level can be reduced, and that's why he's over there like he is now. Okay. He's coming over to me, he sees her. You see? He reduces the energy level. Perfect. Look at Squishy saying, hey, I don't want, I don't like that. But that might be that. <laughs> oh, now, yeah, that, the reason that he's growling is because she went after him. And he remembered that earlier this morning. That's okay. Okay, so now, um, here we are with the, uh, the introduction with the dog in terms of whether she's going to be aggressive or not in the presence of these guys here. And of course, I don't want her to be, but I have to create an environment where she has the ability to be aggressive, but not act on them. And so we want to find out, is this dog fear aggressive, dominant aggressive, subdominant aggressive, or is the dog multi-layered? For my evaluation, she tends to be multi-layered. And that's okay because she's still showing that she can judge her level of aggression by going into the survival mode of staying out of the way. And, and even though she's multi-layered, the, the key component here is fear. Most aggression is based on fear. Very seldom is there a dominance aggression. So she needs to be able to be investigated like this. Let's create a little more uh, stimulant. We'll open the gate so everybody can go in. Maybe she can follow within there. Okay. Come on. She's so used to people. She's, she's trying to get with me because she hasn't been with other dogs. The only experience that she's had with other dogs is to show the aggression. And so that's why she's gravitating towards me. But this is exactly what this dog needs. This is what I call the socialization. To be in the midst of a bunch of dogs and to be social and to accept being smelled. Like, like look at this, she's, she's licking her lips. That's an indication that she's getting ready to blow. But she has to do this over and over again. I think she wants me to touch her and save her, but I want her to experience this. So let's see if she'll follow me back out again. She doesn't want to. And even though she would show aggression, to what level? You know, how far will she go? Will she snap? That's appropriate in terms of saying, leave me alone. It's appropriate. I'll, I'll accept that, but no further. I'm going to teach this dog how to walk and how to walk in the presence of dogs as soon as we finish here. But this is the beginning of her rehabilitation. This is what she's never had before. This is what training doesn't give her. Training can't do this. Training is restrictive. 
training basically prevents this type of beat thing happening because when we say sit and down and stay, then we're trying to prevent them from experiencing things. We're keeping them away from it. And so that's a problem. You know, socialization is free fall. It's like, do what you want. Do what you think you need to do. There we go. So all of the hormones are pumping properly now where she doesn't feel the need to be protective, dominant, assertive, or aggressive. She's in somewhat of survival mode where she's just kind of accepting all of this. This is a perfect beginning. We had two or three near attacks. I don't even remember if I got them on film yet. But uh, after that hormonal uh, thing has taken place, then she can settle down. You know, I've often said you never truly know a dog until you've seen them fight. Then you know the level of everything about them, and you can begin there. Because now, the only place to go is down. Because the initial uh, energy level or aggression is over with. That, that 10 has taken place. Now we go from 10 to 9 to 8, 7, 6, to where we are now, which is about a 2. Okay? That's what I want.